Lena, don't touch the question mark. I didn't touch it. I was loud. just looking at it. <laughs> That's for later. Okay. Okay. In fact, I'm gonna put the card box on top of it okay. so that neither one of us is tempted to touch it. Okay. Okay. Sound good? Yeah. All right. And <laughs> I want you to pick a card. All the cards are are different here, mm -hmm. and I don't want you to think that I'm like feeding you that card, for example. That would be a really good one to pick if you wanted to pick it. Okay. But you didn't that to. Okay, cool. <laughs> you can pick any card you want. Go ahead and grab a card out of it. Literally any card you want. Look at it. Memorize it. Show it to the camera. You have it memorized? Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, just put it back on top and we'll cut it into the middle of the deck. Now, normally in a card trick like this one, what I would do is take the cards mm -hmm. and maybe uh, make make the card move or find the card inside the deck. Um, but I'm not going to do that okay. because the whole time that question mark has been there. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And on that question mark is my favorite card. Would you please pick up the question mark? I'm not, I don't want to touch it. Pick it up, show it to the camera, and read it aloud for everyone. <laughs> says my favorite card is in the box. Is in the box. Now that'd be pretty cool, yeah? Yeah, it would be. <laughs> but I, I take really good care of my favorite card. So it's not only in the box, but it's also encased in a piece of acrylic <laughs> with the words my favorite card written on it. Just like that. That's is ridiculous. that the card you picked? Yeah, but... My favorite card. That's the, the card one. I picked. Yeah, and it also happens to be my favorite card, which I always keep in an acrylic casing inside the card box, because that way it stays safe. 